All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and I hope you guys are doing well. Good morning, or at least it's morning for me as I record this video on Friday, June 18, 2021. And in this video, we have some screenshots of the new map, Tygo, Tago, however you pronounce it, uh, code name Tiger. And these images, along with some information, were given to the PUBG partners first as a first look. There was a brief embargo, just a few hours. And then this content has already kind of hit the interweb. So if you guys are on top of all the latest and greatest PUBG content, then you might have already seen some of this stuff. Wacky Jackie put out a great a video. Unfortunately for me, just with my time zone in the US, I got this stuff while I was sleeping, woke up to see this information was available. and was like, ah, crap, I missed it. Uh, but unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but PUBG usually uh, distributes all their stuff off Korean time or based off people in EU. And then uh, for me in the US, like I said, I was sleeping. But what I want to start with first before we get into all the images and go over all that stuff is some of the information that PUBG gave us, which Wacky Jackie mentioned kind of midway through his video. I was confused about this, but I did get the email. So I'm looking at this now and I want to share with you guys what this says because I was surprised to see this and I hadn't heard this information yet. So let's read what PUBG had to say. Uh, so they said about Taigo, Taigo, this is the first 8x8 map since Miramar. We know that this is going to be the third 8x8 map in the game. And they said that the seemingly quiet and serene Taigo is actually where it all started. So this is the place, the origin of the battleground. So before Erangal, in our minds, Erangal is the first. But this is the original battleground, at least according now to the PUBG universe and lore. And they said that set in a turbulent 70s 80s we try to depict the captivating aspects of the period where past and present coexist you can experience a diverse set of locations from old palaces located deep in the mountains to bus terminals that once served as a transportation hub to markets that were once crowded with people we paid close attention to the balance and level design so all regions terrain objects and house sets could be used strategically so expect nothing less than fierce and intense combats in taigo and then they have a little bit more information. They say here, as mentioned in the 2021 dev roadmap, there will be multiple new features that will make Taigo experience different. So they did mention this, uh, that we're going to see respawn and some new features that are going to be in this level, but they didn't really elaborate yet. And here they kind of do. So including landing, looting, engaging, and survival, there'll be more diversified. So things will change again with landing, looting, engaging, and survival. What exactly that mean? Still don't really know. And they said, with every update, we will have something new for our players. There will be new weapons, vehicles, and players will get the chance to come back BR, come back Battle Royale, which offers the ability to return to the battle after initial defeat. And we'll be introducing game changers that have never been experienced before. Uh, so when I read this, at first they, they had already mentioned that the respawn mechanic will only be available for initial defeat. So that means that you won't be able to come back to the battlegrounds multiple times, like in Call of Duty, uh, which the respawn thing, I know it's a big hot topic in PUBG. I think this is a great opportunity for them to try it on one map. And I think this is a good way to do it. We don't want people coming back five times, six times, being able to buy them back. You have one opportunity after your initial defeat. And then here, when they said come back BR, this makes me believe that the players that have been eliminated are going to go in to their own little BR, maybe on that island on the bottom right hand side of the map. Maybe there's going to be, you know, people land there or spawn there. The circle is going to come in and they're going to have to fight to come back to the island. Who knows how many people are going to come back? Is it going to be multiple people, one person? We're going to find out really soon because we're not so far away from this launching. And then also, uh, they wanted to mention here stay tuned for various events and updates we prepared for our users this summer and starting on june 25th we'll be holding an event for a limited time to celebrate the release of taigo taigo tiger and i wrote here a little bit of a list so i know things were really quiet in the first half of this year i was wondering what's going on with pubg i knew these things were coming but not exactly what and to the extent of which and uh you know what was going to be but check out what's happening over the next month here so in a few days, early next week, 
we're going to have the launch of Mysteries Unknown. It seems like this is going to be a very big episode talking about the lore and universe of PUBG. And for people that don't care about that stuff, well, in that is probably going to give some information about some future content, I would imagine, uh, which I think is going to be awesome. And for me personally, I'm interested in the lore behind PUBG. And then a few days after that, on June 25th, we're going to have this limited time event. I don't know what that means or if that's going to be launching on both PC and console. And then five days after that, on June 30th, we are going to have the PC test server. So you can play Tiger, codename Tiger, on the PC test server. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a test server for console. And then one week later after that, on July 7th, we're going to have the map launch on PC with update 12.2, the next survivor pass, hopefully, and all that stuff, maybe some new content on top of that. Uh, so that's going to be a very big update, probably the biggest update in a while, other than uh, remastered Miramar. And then one week after that, or really eight days after that, we're going to have this launch on console on July 15th. So over the next month, we have a lot of stuff planned, and it seems like PUBG is already ready to fill this map with a lot of content. And that's what we want to see from PUBG and for the battlegrounds, which I think is great. And when I think about this, to me, if this map is going to have a bunch of new features, I'm curious to know, is it going to be its own individual playlist? Is it going to be in with all the other maps? Is this going to be a map that we might see change from season to season, from year to year? Will it change? Kind of like Fortnite, how they, they or Call of Duty, where they change parts of the map depending on the season or the battle pass event or whatever. Uh, I could see this happening with this, this map. All right, so let's get into these images. I'm going to try to go through this a little bit quicker because you might have seen these already. And if you missed it, I did an overview and reaction video to the map layout, which there was a lot of information on that. So if you haven't checked that out, that is on my channel, should be the last video that you could watch on there. And I'll link it above if I haven't mentioned that already. So let's get into it. We're seeing one of our first uh, smaller city compounds here. I would say that, you know, this isn't super large. I love the size of this kind of compound. And I love the buildings here open area on the outside. There's a little bit of a decline going in. So if you're over here on uh, this side of the terrain, you can actually kind of see into the roof, uh, which is nice, seems to be a little bit balanced. And then the really crowded area here has some great tree cover in the middle. So you can actually move from building to building instead of uh, in some other really crowded areas. When you leave the building, you seem to be the target of everybody that's kind of camping inside the buildings. And something we're gonna see here is a new building structure. I mean, obviously these are all sort of new, but they're also kind of familiar at the same time. Uh, but this one definitely completely new. This is kind of a double roof building and we have an entrance seems to be, there's going to be an entrance to the roof from this door and then also from the outside. And then there's a secondary roof there. So I like that building a lot. Then also here, it seems like there might be an entrance to the roof uh, from the ground. And there's kind of like this split wall, which is nice. Uh, definitely some good gameplay opportunities there. This seems to be a Erangel, Sanok, Paramo vibe, all kind of mixed together. And I love the fall vibes and the colors of the trees there. And then if we zoom in all the way to the right, not much going on here, but I just kind of zoomed in. want to show you guys this. This seems to be like a small little compound by the water. Uh, so this area is located near the water on the map, whether this is on the north, south, or west side, you know, who knows yet. I would most likely guess probably north or west side of the map, uh, but we'll find out more when this drops. Then we have the next image here, and this is of an airfield. And really, I saw this image first, and I was like, oh man, are, are we going to have an airfield here? Are these planes going to be drivable? And it looks like, I would imagine they are if they're showing them in this kind of capacity in this screenshot. In a lot of the screenshots, they didn't show uh, vehicles. But I think uh, we're going to be able to fly this. And when the glider launched, they were kind of worried about the balancing of that, right? They didn't want a whole team to be able to get in the glider, be able to shoot people, be able to transverse the map uh, in the air. So they limited it to two passengers. So I don't know what the balancing idea will be here. Can, we, can everybody fit in here? Maybe the whole squad can fit in here, but you can't really shoot out of it. Uh, something along those lines. Maybe this is strictly for transportation. Uh, but we can see here gas station. These are probably vehicles you can't use just cover, but there will be new vehicles on this map. And I'm really hoping that PUBG steps up their vehicle game. Uh, we can, we can kind of see inside these compounds, but I don't think there's too much to be gained from just looking at that right now. I'm actually going to back out. I want to show you guys this image. So I want to, I was trying to figure out where this location is because right now, if you look, there's a waterway right here and there's a bridge here and a bridge here. So I think this is on the East side of the map. And I think this is where the water kind of jets in. Also, there's kind of a mountain up here. So this could be, 
I don't think this is the big gap way of water between the island, the top island, the north island, and the south island. I think this is more of the peninsula or the river that's coming in, I should say. Excuse me. Not the peninsula. Uh, so I think this is on the east side of the map. But again, we'll see. And great opportunity for this uh, plane. I love, like, look at the terrain back here. You kind of got this flat area. It goes up. There seems to be water over here. Uh, maybe some marshland. I mean, this just looks like a great area to play. The trees. Uh, and again, this is an area that is, you would say, like a small city style area. Uh, but this seems like it's going to be really great to loot and fight in. It's it's open enough, but there's enough buildings to get loot. And to me, these this is what makes Erangel so great, or the locations like this. And this, to me, is giving the best worlds of like the best of both worlds of Sanok in Erangal, which is really cool, right? Some Sanak vibes over here. And it makes sense because this is set in uh, Korea. So let's zoom out and we'll keep moving. This, I was watch watching Wacky Jackie's video. I mean, this is basically a combination of Erangal's prison and the military base. You get a lot of themes from the military base and even um, the Miramar military base. You see the tents kind of remind me of Miramar, the barracks like on Erangal, the guard tower. Uh, this is a very classic location. Then what I love here is this water feature. So there's water jutting out from somewhere that's going down to here. So again, is this located off that waterway? Is this, you know, where is this part of the map? I can't wait to see where this is, but I love that there's a road, water, bridge here. Uh, this just seems like it's going to be so much fun to play. I, I, I love this location so far. Uh, there is a big, like, is this part of the river? Is this the ocean over here? Not really sure. And I say river, it's not really a river, it's all ocean. Uh, but, you know, I call the bodies of water in between the things. I'm calling them a river for the purpose of this video. But then the outside, kind of the ocean, if you're following me there. And let's zoom out, go to the next image. In this next image, we kind of just have a ground level view of that base we were looking at, the barracks, which look awesome. And then I love these dirt mounds here. Uh, this seems like a great area to play. Hopefully not too many walking issues on here, but these, this is great cover. Check out the bushes here with this fence. I mean, this again, just looks like a really cool area. And I love the, uh, love the tone of this map, you know, PUBG seems like players have been kind of struggling with like, is this map too bright? Is this too dark? IE Sanak, IE the new Miramar. Uh, but Aaron Gall V2 has such a great palette. And this seems very similar to that, which I think we're all going to like. All right, and then switching gears pretty heavily here from the military base, we have a small waterfall, and I could easily see this being located near um, a palace somewhere in the mountains. They were kind of mentioning that. And so funny, the gamer in me just immediately thinks that there could be something hidden behind this waterfall, but I doubt it. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how this kind of moving water plays in PUBG. Have we seen something like this much water? Uh, you know, coming down like this. And also the sound of this could be, you know, blocking some of footsteps, stuff like that, which to me, I kind of like when there's different sounds. I know that can annoy players, but I think it's a cool element to the map when there's different sounds like that. And then this seems to be like a, a little uh, water area. I don't know if this is a fishing area. This seems to be open because you can kind of see the buoys over there. So I'm hoping that there might be some boats in here and that we can actually use boats to a better, uh, to our advantage in a better way now on this map definitely seems to be some kind of fishery right there's nets and all this stuff and i, I love the way this looks very creative area and uh always cool to see these kind of unique unique locations on a map then we have a field here this immediately reminded me of magne the old area on uh Sanok, but then also kind of has like a pachinki vibe because you have this city then the fields out in the open here. And this seems to definitely be a more condensed city. There's a lot of two-story buildings. There's some apartment buildings here. And, uh, you know, we can't really see too far there, but some great buildings. And this will most likely be a hot drop depending on where it's located, kind of searching for any other key clues or cues of where this might be. But kind of reminds me of um, one of those cities that are on the outskirts of Sanak. Zoom out. Then we have this image showing kind of a more uh, close up of the fields and what some of the sheds might look like, maybe some less open sheds and more open designed areas like this. I'm imagining there's gonna be some loot in there and this is gonna be huge for, uh, you know, for cover, just this little mound here, especially for people playing in FPP, duck down in here, cover from some shots and then some hay bales or whatever that is there exactly. Um, not a ton of cover, but again, you'll be able to lay down and, and, and get some position And this grass seems high enough to definitely snake in, uh, which will be probably good and bad depending on the scenario. And then, and then we have another image here of the grass. 
This area looks really cool. Pretty open over here. Kind of giving me the Paramo vibe because Paramo vibe has like, it almost seems like there's so much cover and then you're running through the field and you realize like there's not that much cover. Definitely feeling those kind of Paramo vibes from that. It's so funny. I, I said this earlier, but it's like Paramo, Sanok, and Aaron Gall all merged together. And I don't know if that's just a coincidence. I've never been to Korea, so I'm not really sure. Uh, but this map is set in Korea, just to reiterate that again. I think probably PUBG at some point wanted to make a map here because that's where they're from and that's where the game originated from. The original developers from South Korea. So it could just be a coincidence. Maybe maybe this is what it looks like there. Uh, but in any case, this looks like this is going to be a great map to play on. And then this is really interesting. This is a prison here. Image one and image two of the prison, I'm guessing. Um, I saw Wacky Jackie's video. He was saying, you know, it's kind of interesting. This is a circle here. This isn't circular, but it looks like it is kind of at the end there. I'm going to assume here that this is the same structure. It might not be. And at first, when I was looking at these images, I was like, oh, wow, this is where the gulag is going to happen. It looks like it's almost on an island. And the gulag area, allegedly the gulag area, is on the bottom right-hand side of the map in kind of a circle oval formation. Uh, so it's like, you know, maybe it's in an unplayable area, but I'm like, maybe it's actually water surrounding it. But then the more I looked at this, I think this is located on the very west side of the map because there's this little bit of a um, island jutting out here. I'll try to show you guys what that looks like or where it is on the map. So now I think it's going to be on the main island and that this will be a playable area and a really fun place to kind of land. It's kind of got a prison kind of mini Milts of Power vibe. And being right by the water, this could have some cool... Uh, areas to head out from or maybe use a boat to transverse into the map or, or who knows what other stuff is going to be featured uh, in this game. I'm hoping some really cool new vehicles as we mentioned before and very interesting area. Again, prison, mini Milta vibes for me. Then we have the Korean school and I think there's another building here. So at first you're like, oh, there's not much going on, but I think there's actually going to be another uh, building here. And sometimes these areas can be really difficult to loot. You know, usually people land on the roof and then this is going to be way out in the open. Uh, but if there's some buildings surrounding this, this might be an interesting area, almost kind of like a C block in military base and trying to see if there's anything noticeable out in the uh, background there, but not really seeing too much, but just a very cool looking area. And there's definitely going to be people using this as cover at some point in the game. And then a close up of that school. Very cool looking. Got some speakers. There was definitely some kind of event going on uh, at some point before the battleground apocalypse happened. And this kind of looks like a uh, not a drivable car. Kind of just looks like an older version of the Dacia, but we'll see what kind of vehicles are going to be on this map. And then we have our last image. So I was having some trouble pulling these up or changing from one to the other. And this is a compound near the water. Check this out. Again, very it has a big Sanak vibe here to me. We got near the water compound and then after the compound it's kind of sloping up this is like uh saw me i feel like or kampong uh on sanak i'm kind of blanking a little bit but i feel like those are one of the compounds that have this this hill after you leave and not too many buildings we're not sure if there's more buildings over here there is a road going around uh, but there's another compound nearby so this seems like this is going to be I, a great place to land i personally love landing in in places like this where it's a decent spot and then you can kind of move and hit some other compounds on the way out we're seeing another angle of this building again which is cool a vehicle which this almost looks like this could be a drivable vehicle a version of the vehicle we saw at school and then again different ter elevations of terrain to hopefully make the fighting more balanced within the compound all right so there you go it's an awesome experience to be able to get these images from PUBG, even though they're out in the public domain now uh, but it's really fun to, to make a video about this and go through with you guys and the PUBG community and people that are part of my community on youtube and twitch so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you know, it's just fun kind of breaking it down and then it will be exciting landing, testing it out. This with Miramar and all the other future content coming, this is really exciting point for PUBG. And I hope that the rest of the summer goes really well. And if you're kind of 50-50 or skeptical about this respawn mechanic, again, I think it's going to be really awesome to test it out just on one map. And this is going to be a map where they can kind of do different things on. And I keep saying that over and over again. And I hope people uh, kind of feel the same way. And it's time to get back to the battlegrounds. So I will keep you guys up to date with all the stuff going on, different events, information. And I will definitely be checking this out on PC when it goes live on the test server on June 30th. So I'll either be here on YouTube or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash what's five and friends. And thank you guys for getting through the video here. Early morning record for me. Uh, so, you know, a little tough one, but we made it through. So as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out.